Welcome back to another video on diagnosing issues with the Alpina D3. So I drove it <clears throat> yesterday, first time in a while, and I had a lot of um, limp home coming on again. Um, as soon as you let it idle for a while, it goes away, and then the moment you put your foot down again, it comes back. So I've got the um, codes here, I'll put them up on the screen. <clears throat> but the main ones we're looking at today are uh, 4391, charge air temperature sensor signal. And there was another one related, uh, 3F25, charge air hose monitoring. And I believe that they are both related to the... Um, sensor that's on the intake pipe that goes from the intercooler up to the anti-shutter valve. I notice there's another one here, 4BA1, I'll put all those in the description anyway, intake air temperature sensor signal. So I then had a look at live data and I'll put this up on the screen, um, but basically no matter what I did with the um, sensor, whether I ran, ran the engine, the charge air temperature after charge cooler, so after the intercooler, stuck at 76.93 Fahrenheit, which I think is around 26 degrees Celsius. So today's plan is I wanna check whether it's the sensor or signal to the ECU, and there is a pretty simple way of checking that. I found it online. Um, when you look online for videos and stuff, there isn't really a lot specific to the BMW, but the other thing I found was that the plug for the temperature sensor and the plug for the oil sensor is the same. And it seems common on the E90s at least that people get those the wrong way around once they've done some work like changing the inlet manifold and you get this issue then but I've had a look at mine and the wires physically aren't long enough to reach the opposite plugs or the opposite sensors so I don't think that's the issue on mine but basically from what I gather the oil sensor has a single wire plug and the air intake uh, temperature sensor has uh, a plug with two wires on it so I'm going to test the plug I'm going to test the the cabling and I'm going to test the um, sensor itself which we can do with a hairdryer and a and a meter so let's get started of course pick one of the windiest days to do this so I may have to do a voiceover but basically looking at the engine bay it's the pipe that is the sensor, and for the testing we're going to use just a normal multimeter. So the first thing we're going to do is take this off, and you'll see this is the plug. The other plug that's similar is there on th on the uh, oil switch, but as I say, this won't physically reach down there so it must be the right one so what I'm going to do first of all is I need to make sure that the feed from this is providing 5 volts to this sensor so I'm going to put the red there onto the, onto the uh, feed and then the black one just onto uh, an earth on the car. So we've got DC volts set, and if we put that on there, so we've actually got 3.54 volts going through. that plug with the ignition on you have to do you have to test it with the ignition on so okay so 
next test is to go from the battery positive, which we can take from the uh, jump uh, point under the bonnet to the negative on here, uh, just to make sure that um, this cable goes to earth. why that's only showing 8 volts but it could be that the uh, okay now so we've got 12 volts that's that's the wrong one okay Normally when you, the tests I saw, normally they have five volts going through them. For some reason this has just over eight volts going through. So that's possibly to do with the ECU. So I think before we go any further with that, what I'm going to do is check the actual switch because I can do that uh, in the house. and. Um, that will give us a good idea of what's going on. So to get this out, you just you have to clip this little thing up, and then you can turn it round, and then <laughs> probably going to need two hands, but you just to pull it out. So that's what it looks like. So let's get inside do a test on that. So we've got the sensor out. Um, for this test we're going to use the ohms uh, and for now I'm just going to set it down to here. And I'm just going to have a look if we've got anything across the connections. So that's showing 0 0.9. Let me just have a look. Okay. It's all over the place actually. Now it's showing 3.8. So I'm going to give the give this a bit of a clean because you have a look. There's quite a lot of oil on there. Obviously I'm not going to be able to get in to the uh, actual sensor but I need to try and get a constant reading really and that's proving a bit difficult. So if I heat this up, it's going to get a bit noisy now, and we'll see what happens. So I'll try and do it so that it can be seen. seems to be rising actually which would suggest to me that it is actually working I will right, we'll start that again because uh, someone rang my phone and it stopped recording so we currently got 12.7 12.6 12 
So let's just see what happens when we heat that up. So, a bit confused really by this because when I first did it, it was only showing 0.9. So this would suggest that the, you now it's cooling down. So if I put this in some cold water, we'll see what happens then. So, Currently around 14, sort of jumping around a bit. But if we put this in here, okay, so that's really going down now. Uh, I did find somewhere online that showed what what it should show roughly for different temperatures. So we've got yeah 11. I'm not convinced that this is. Uh, is working properly. It seems to be jumping all over the place. definitely working when I put uh, heat and cold on it but I'm just not sure that it's um, I'm not sure it's working properly I need to check the uh, the figures um, the, the, of the outputs that it should be showing for different temperatures and I'll put that on the screen now I did see it yesterday in a um, uh, on a forum for BMWs, so um, yeah, let's see what that says anyway. So I found the values, and actually, uh, I think I think the uh, the sensors buggered. I had it set on those tests. I had it set to two hundred, and for testing purposes, it should be set to at least fifty. K 50,000 ohms um, because from what it shows here and you'll you'll see this on the screen for um, if it's 20 degrees then we're looking at 37,000 ohms uh, going up to just over 2 ohms 2,000 ohms for 100 degrees C so you know we're in the house it's probably around 20 degrees. We should be seeing 37,000 ohms, and it's not even registering on the uh, on the multimeter for that. So, I'm going to go ahead, order a new one of these, and we can test that when we get it, just to make sure that we're getting the same results. But I think for now, uh, at least you can see how to test it. So I need to order a new one. And you can see the BMW part number there, 136-277-92203. And if we look at real OEM, we can see that is the same number. Uh, I'm probably going to get an aftermarket part, but a um, bit of a fail with the testing. 
but hopefully a new one of these will confirm that we were right. 